Unfortunately, we have another PC title where HDI is not working as it should be. The HDR sliders in Horizon Forbidden West are yeah, just, just a little bit weird. Let's say it like this. And I don't understand how this can happen because yeah, where's quality control? How can quality control miss that actually? So on the PlayStation 5, this game is in my opinion one of the best looking PlayStation 5 or maybe console games what you can play right now. And not just that, the HDR implementation on the PlayStation 5 is just superb on a, yeah, on a reference level. So again, my question is, how can you miss that? How can you miss that the HDR slider, exactly actually just one slider, is not working as it should be. So, and because this slider is not working, the whole HDR experience is actually completely, I wouldn't say garbage, but, but not as it can be, okay? Let's say like this. So, thanks God, we have a fix for that. Unofficial fix, but anyway, it's a very simple fix. And yeah, so let's talk about this. Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. So what is going on with Horizon Forbidden West on a PC? So not much because all what you need to fix is actually the HDR sliders because this game looks absolutely fantastic. So I'm playing this on a 4080 with a AMD 7950X 7950 3D, yeah, that's correct. And I mean, this is just absolutely wow. I mean, that's a sharp picture and there's no a lazing, flimmering, flickering, nothing, and it just works. And it's the performance is absolutely fantastic. So Nixus again did a fantastic job, a job with uh, porting this game from the PlayStation 5 to the PC. The only thing what I really don't like is the HDR implementation. So don't get me wrong, the HDR implementation is great. The HDR sliders are just not working. Actually, it's just one slider, and yeah, let me show you what I'm talking about. So what is the problem now? If you haven't used the unofficial patch, then the maximum peak brightness in this game is actually, so first of all, limited to 1000 nits. But just if you use the HDR paper white setting and you increase this HDR paper white setting to 1000 nits. So yes, you can do this. The problem is that the HDR paper white should not change the maximum peak brightness in specular highlights. So that's the first thing. It should not it should not be like that, okay? So HDR paper white should be the average picture brightness from the from the whole picture, okay? So that's the first thing because well that's the first problem. That's actually the only problem because as soon you now increase the HDR paper white setting to a value where you think you can match the maximum peak brightness capability of your screen monitor or TV you actually wash out the whole picture. So it doesn't, it doesn't look right anymore, okay? And to show you what I'm really talking about, yeah, let's watch my comparison. Okay, but what can we do now until Nixus has fixed the game? So there are two solutions in my opinion. So if you don't want to use any unofficial patch, which I can understand, then I would actually recommend you go to settings and you go to um, the dynamic range settings, which you have here, and you just increase the HDR paper white setting to 1000 for time being, okay? Or let's say you play on an LG ZX, then of course use roughly 800 or something like that, okay? Um, that's the solution I would recommend if you really don't want to use any un unofficial patch. But I would strongly recommend actually to use the unofficial patch because this solution is just not good looking. And if you like to use the unofficial patch, then just click on the link in the description because this is then, yeah, 
the link to the Discord channel where you can find the two files. It's actually a zip file, but this zip file includes the two files. All what you have to do is you copy and paste these two files, those two files in the main folder from Horizon Forbidden West in your Steam yeah, folder. Okay, that's all what you have to do. And then you can actually use this setting as you like it because now it is working. The maximum peak brightness unfortunately is limited to 1500 nits, but this is already much, much better. Or don't get me wrong, this is even you just use 1000. Now, because the paper white setting is using as it should be, the whole picture looks already much, much better as I have shown in my comparison. So, what I would recommend is you use the HDR maximum luminance slider as recommended for your TV. So, let's say you have an LG G2 roughly around yeah, 900 to 1000 nits, 959, 980, something like that, okay? You get my point. So don't trust this, by the way, okay? This is absolutely garbage. This doesn't work at all, okay? So again, if you have a G2, it's around, let's say 950 to 1000 nits. G3, maybe around 1300, 1400, the same counts for the S95C. So if you have any other TV like the G4, then just max this out to 1500 because that's all what you get. So in terms of the paper white setting, there is not really a recommendation from my end because this is really how you like it. I personally prefer actually a little bit of a brighter picture. So around 250, 300 is in my opinion really nice. And then I get roughly, yeah, this bright picture. We just need to wait two seconds until the game has loaded. But it is absolutely up to you because, you know, maybe you like a little bit of a brighter picture or not. So this is with, what was it? Was it 250 or 300? I forgot. But anyway, I found it right now. Absolutely fine. And this is with HGHG enabled. Okay, so we're talking about HGHG dynamic tone mapping on a little bit later, but that's for now paper white setting 300 it was. Okay, so feel free to change this. But again, keep in mind the more you increase this setting, the more you wash out the picture again. So I would always try to stay below 500 in this case, in this game. Okay, so 500 is already a little bit much. Okay, not sure if you can see this on the on the screen or on the, uh, my recording right now, but I would probably say it's already a little bit too much, okay? Anyway, so with the other settings, very simple. So in regards of the shadow boost setting, whatever you call this, HDR shadow boost, I personally don't, I, I wouldn't touch it to be very honest, because when we're talking about the HDR black level floor, then with the standard factory setting zero and leaving HDR brightness, or sorry, the HDR paper white to a reasonable level, we have actually a perfect black level floor. The fun part is actually that even you would increase the HDR paper white setting to the absolute maximum, the black level floor is still the same. You lift just the whole brightness, but you still have zero nits if there is zero nits necessary, okay? So, but again, I would not touch this. If you like to increase it, yes, I would not decrease it, okay? Because you will lose details in very dark or on very dark textures, okay? The HDR highlights boost, on the other hand, I like to use this with plus 10 because I have the feeling the highlights are popping much better and that's what I like. My recommendation is that if you have an LG OLED TV, use HGLG because it's just, it is just working. The maximum peak brightness, the HDR paper white settings, or well, the whole HDR implementation in this game is actually absolutely i would say perfect absolutely perfect with the fix of course we're talking with the unofficial fix okay but i'm very sure as soon nixus has patched the game officially we're talking about exactly the same okay but i will keep you up to date okay but what i would recommend use hghg do not use dynamic tone mapping off as in many other games um, 1000 nits maximum peak brightness in speckle highlights is just not good enough to use dynamic tone mapping off because you will lose all these specular highlights, okay? Or you like to use dynamic tone mapping on, but as in many other games, it's just over brighten the picture. And right now, maybe it actually does look better, but when you play in the night, then this is just way too bright, believe me, okay? But as always, it's absolutely up to you. My favorite in this game is HGHG. Okay, my friends, so that's it for this very quick video. There's not much to say about this great game. It is also on the PC, just fantastic to play. I love the gameplay. I love the, the whole style. I, and the graphic is just on, a, on such a great level. It's unbelievable. So, I mean, yeah, PlayStation 5 was already good. 
this is of course even better but yeah you get the point 4080 with a high-end gpu it's a little bit more expensive than a playstation 5 so that's why actually the playstation 5 version is on such a great level yeah it's just fantastic i hope the fixing the HDR slider soon because um, this is a big downside in my opinion because again if you don't want to use unofficial patches which I fully understand then you don't have the best experience right now. So again I would recommend to increase the HDR paper white setting to almost the maximum to have actually um, yeah, some sort of specular highlights but again it's not the same because you, you're just crushing or not crushing but you, you're lifting the brightness and you have a very um, not much dynamic contrast or dynamic range actually to um, display specular highlights anymore. So again the unofficial patch here what you can see here it's just working absolutely simple safe I, I couldn't find any issues with it I would strongly recommend to use it. As soon this game is officially fixed I will let you know. Thank you very much for watching me and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.